When worlds collide, you'll laugh so hard, you'll swear you died. When worlds collide, hold my hand, I'll be your guide. When worlds collide, buckle, buckle, buckle up for the sweetest ride and prepare to have your mind blown wide. When worlds collide, when worlds collide. Hello, me, 22 Tiger Dude. I'm here to review this the spongy episode oh requested by iron clad charger 66 <laughs> okay i don't know if i sounded like a monkey or a caveman i don't know i try my best to do a caveman and i promise you that will be the last time you ever see me do a caveman Unless I feel like it feels necessary. But that what I did right there was really unnecessary. Anyways, you guys. Yes, I am here to review UGG. A.K.A. Spongebob BC Before Comedy. And this is a special that takes place in the prehistoric times. Where we get to see Spongegar, Prehistoric Spongebob. Patard, Prehistoric Patrick. And Squog, Prehistoric Squidward. There is unfortunately no Mr. Krabs and Sandy. Well, the Mr. Krabs part, sort of, but I'll try to get into that. But anyways, Ugg was a very hated Spongebob special. I think it's even more hated than the Sponge Who Could Fly. Correct me if I am wrong on that. But all I know is that a lot of people hate this special, and I could definitely understand why. In my opinion... This episode, the special, is not as bad as people say it is, but it is not as good either. It's not a good episode. It's not a bad episode. It's just straight down the middle, okay episode. It's alright, it's okay, but it's nothing special, and it's a very forgettable special indeed. I do think the whole prehistoric thing is pretty interesting. The positives I do have with the special is that, surprisingly, the patchy scenes were actually very funny. I really enjoy the patchy scenes in this special. And of course, we get that fake dinosaur getting patchy and all that. So, there's stupid bits in there, but it was highly entertaining and it was really enjoyable. And uh, unfortunately, it's actually better than the special itself. And the prehistoric side, Spongegar, Patar, and Squag discover fire. That's really all you get for a special, is fire. That's it. That's the basic plot of this episode. They discover fire, they fight over it, that's all you get for a special. Kind of sounds disappointing and sad when I put it all together, huh? Like, it's like, come on writers, you could have gone a little more creative of it, like, Use the fire part. That's cool and interesting to see. But try to make something a little more interesting out of it. And that's the other problem I had with the special. Some of the moments in this special were just so boring. There were very boring moments in the special. That was one of the disappointments about it. And then there is this very long scene. I can't tell you how long and how much of a filler this scene was, but it got me frustrated because I wanted to just get back to the point. Aww. And I just couldn't take it. I couldn't stand it. Whole time, of course, Spongegar, Patar, and Squag, they speak in prehistoric language. And so I really wish the special translated the freaking words they are saying. Because since they're speaking in prehistoric words, we, the audience, 
do not understand what they are saying. The writer should have translated because that's also probably why, why a lot of people hate this episode. They can't understand a damn word those guys are saying because it's not translated. It just felt like the writers weren't even trying with this ep special. They're just all like, okay, let's make him prehistoric. Let's make him discover fire, fight over it, and seriously, it felt like that to me. It just felt like effort wasn't really put into a special. The writers just felt like they didn't care about the special. They just did it like whatever, that's it. I didn't really laugh a lot, but there's some funny moments added in there. One of the positives that this episode does have though was that the World Collide song that the robot was singing, that was awesome actually. I think that was surprisingly my favorite part of the whole special. The World's Collide song was just very cool and I just really, really liked it. That was my favorite part of the whole special. So surprisingly, the patchy scenes are much better than the actual prehistoric special itself. It's sad, but that's honestly true in my opinion. So overall, UGG, aka SpongeBob BC, whatever you want to call it, is an okay special. It just lacked a lot of things. No prehistoric Sandy and Mr. Krabs. I I was disappointed because I wanted to see what Sandy, one of my favorite characters in the show, looked like in prehistoric form and that frustrated me. Also, we don't get prehistoric Mr. Krabs. We kind of do. I'm going to dip, di uh, dig deep into that. In the prehistoric world, yes, we see Mr. Krabs. But in the prehistoric world, he is just these tiny, tiny crabs. They, they were tiny. But like Mr. Krabs in his normal form, like, like, you know, just in his normal Mr. Krabs form, he wasn't there. So... The actual Mr. Krabs in actual prehistoric form was not there. He was just little crabs. And I guess that's fine. But come on. Ignoring Sandy? This really proves that the writers, they just don't give two shits about Sandy. I'm going to give Ugg, a.k.a. Spongebob BC before comedy a 6 out of 10. Subscribe to my channel. Comment to give me your thoughts on the Spongebob episode. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter. Like and share this video. I will always have TAGA POWER! I'm from the future. And I'm from the past. But that don't mean this friendship wasn't built to last. He was made in a lab and I was born in a cave. So let me hear you holler for this inter-era rave. <laughs>